Hey everyone, Tragic here, and can you tell that I'm just in the mood to open anything? Yeah, definitely. So here we are with baseball cards uh, from back in the day. I'm dragging you guys along to my childhood again. This is the junk wax era where uh, when I was 12 or so, uh, we were going to be rich. We were going to buy uh, packs of baseball cards, open them up, and then someday uh, we were going to cash in. And uh, and and have and go to college and you know put our kids through college. I don't know what the end game was going to be, but as everyone knows, this whole thing just collapsed. Um, but for just for fun, I'm going to open some of this stuff up and just reminisce a little bit. Um, I know there's a few of you out there that might um, hang out with me for a little bit, so let's do it. This is Tops, 1989. So this is the year that I started buying baseball cards. There's some old gum. We know, and we know how that goes. It is stuck to this Alvin Davis card on the back. So that was not going to be able to uh, get graded, I don't think. It's not going to pull a BGS um, grade here. So it's been a long, long time since I've opened a pack of these. So let's get into it here. The company store, you can buy a sweatshirt. Hey, there's Mets. There's uh, Daryl Strawberry. I actually did buy, I think, a, a complete set of Mets cards at one point. For some reason, I thought the Mets were great. Um, growing up in Arizona, there was no baseball team until much later, so didn't really have anybody to root for. Um, so I think I rooted for just whoever was doing good that year. So one year was the Mets. I know the Oakland A's was a big one for me like a year later because they, uh, they got big. There's Oil Can Boyd, Dennis Boyd. Goes by Oil Can. That's his uh, his uh, nickname there. Rob Dibble, right? So I remember some of these names. Robin Yunt, Hall of Famer. Um, so shout out down below. What do you guys know about baseball that I don't probably know? So I actually um, I know about baseball players from this era from opening cards and just studying the backs and reading their stats. You know, it was just, like fascinating to me. So and so, let's find Robin Yount real quick and just kind of because he's going to be a little more impressive than some of these guys. There you go, a long storied career uh, with the Brewers. And it, um, I don't know if this was his last year or not, but you know, 187 home runs, it's, it's uh, pretty good. Um, a lot of hits, um, a lot of at bats, right? You know what I mean? So, like, this stuff was pretty fascinating to me. Um, having a 290 average is pretty good, uh, very good, in fact. So, um, I just studied that kind of stuff religiously being in sixth grade or so and thought this stuff was pretty awesome. So I had my favorite guys. So there's Don Russ. He's going to have puzzles. Uh, this is, I think this was in 89. Here we go. Junk wax. Literally, literally waxed to the back of this card. Um, and so down at the end of this video, I think there's a upper deck 1989. So we got a chance at a Ken Griffey. That might be the a possible big pull out of something like this so you can actually put together a puzzle of Carl Yastrzemski there um, I never bothered to do anything like that I do remember this design um, thinking it would look pretty good back then um, I think people nowadays would say that that's pretty bad for card design but I, I liked it in the orange back so I have a lot of memories about that kind of stuff so here we are having some fun. I think there are some errors in the printing of these. I don't know what's worth anything at this point. Um, I always used to think these were kind of interesting. Like it was a painting of the player, right? So since they took the time to paint it, to me that was like a little bit extra good, right? So these ones at the beginning of the series um, were desirable. So you'd want to kind of try to collect those. Ron Robinson, no idea who that is. So there's so many major league baseball players um, that don't get the big uh, accolades, they don't become an MVP. I still don't know who Von Hare is. Von Hayes? Yeah, maybe he was big, I don't know. So Will Clark, I know he was an all-star first baseman for the Giants, it says right there. So this was one I collected. Um, his all-star game performance is on the back there. So there we go. I had a page in my binder of Will Clark at one point. Glenn Wilson. And Greg Cadaret. Gotcha there. So 
Uh, Donruss had rated rookies, didn't see a rookie in there, so we'll just move on. We got Score, 1990 Score. And I think when Score came out, these cards were like, uh, yeah, they were glossy on the front, and the design was pretty cool. Let's see if I'm remembering that correctly. There we go, green, I guess, you know. To me, it kind of just stood out a bit. For some reason, I did like the score cards for a while there. Cecil SB, Bip Roberts. Uh, some guys had like kind of fun names that, as a kid, I thought was kind of neat. Uh, so this guy is interesting. Like he started with the Padres, and then he was in Las Vegas, a minor league team, and they would kind of show you the stats for both. So career player like this, you kind of up and down from the show, and uh, they don't always get to be superstars. Edgar Martinez, pretty well-known name, I think. Maybe I'm deluding myself. It's been many, many years. So, and there's, hey, Frank Thomas. There's a Frank Thomas rookie card. So that's actually pretty decent. I might have to look this up and see if it's even worth a couple of bucks at this point. Who knows, right? So this definitely, when I was, in, you know, at in 1990 buying scorecards, I definitely would have wanted a Frank Thomas rookie card. First round draft pick. There he is, the slugger. So we'll pull that one aside. And then these are kind of neat. I always thought, I always call them Sport Flicks because there's a brand of card that is actually called Sport Flicks. And then this one's just, hey, Willie Stargell, guy from the 70s that I only read about because I wasn't hardly paying attention back then. All right, Scott Sanderson, Tom Gordon, Geronimo Barroa, right? So just like looking at the guys in action playing baseball, it's just like, oh man, it's it's pretty awesome. He definitely wanted another rookie card. John Orton. I don't know if he ever went anything anywhere. There's his minor league record. His first year with the Angels. Another rookie from the A's. I probably would have grabbed those and put them in a binder since they were rookies. Because rookie cards, of course, were gonna be worth eight hundred thousand dollars at some point. And I was going to retire off of that. 1990 Fleer. Let's do it. Can we grab some more rookies? This hobby nowadays is still about all about rookies, but now it's just, you got to have autograph. You literally, I, I might as well just throw away everything in the pack that's not an autograph. To me, it seems odd. There's some stickers um, that... Um, there's even a hobby still around sports cards, but it's just I'm so far removed from it now at this point, playing Magic Gathering and getting into some of this other weird card stuff. Um, sports kind of escapes me at this point, I'll be honest with you guys. So Bo Jackson, good old Bo Jackson and uh, Kirby Puckett, yeah. Uh, I believe, I'm not sure if Bo Jackson's in the Hall of Fame, but I think Kirby Puckett is, and he's now passed away, so... Um, there you go, two exciting players. So that's a that's a pretty cool card. I would have saved that at the time, probably. And then there's all these guys that like I've just never heard of then or now. Just the utility players day in and day out. And they probably had great careers. And they were integral to whatever. There's the player of the decade. Or well, one of the players, Ryan Sandberg. So this is another one I would have pulled at the time. He was kind of a star. Dwight Smith and Robin Yunt again. So, I'll pull a Robin Yunt card. Sure. I probably, I think I had a page of him. So, these I've never seen. First series, big baseball cards from Tops. There's seven picture cards. And it's like kind of bent. So, I'm not sure what this would have been. There's definitely a came a point where in the 90s, about 93, 94, where the card companies just started going crazy overboard with the different series of cards so these are just like bent completely Jim Presley what year are these from it's showing 1988 there 1989 the tops company so that's about the same time Dave Valley and they got like a little cartoon on the back about his like what he does is it the same picture every time almost looks like it Dave Stewart from the A's I probably would have collected him. It says a different comic in the back. Paul Runge. Oops. Greg Walker and a Gary Sheffield. So he would have been kind of big at that time too. I think this was probably his... One of, it was, yeah, it probably would have been his rookie year, 88. 
And again, these are just like bent, so those are not going to go off to grading. It is what it is. So here we go. 1989 upper deck. Here's our chance. Can we get a Griffey? Uh, I don't know if. Okay, it says high numbers, high number series included, rookies and traded players. So I'm not sure if this is a good, a better chance of getting a Griffey or not. This all came as a lot, like I bought this on eBay. All of this stuff was pretty reasonably priced. You know, there's there's so much of this stuff printed and there's really not much value. But this being the first year of Upper Deck, um, this was super hot when I was in it. Like I don't even think you could find 1989 Upper Deck at the baseball card store that I would go to. They're like all flipped back and forth. Here's Oil Can Boyd, there he is. Ivan de Jesus de Jesus. I'm not sure how you would say that. And they're all like flipped in and out of there. Who knows? Alex Trevino. I'm not I'm not hopeful to get anything really good out of here, so Tim Tuffle. I remember the name. Edwin Correa. So upper deck, and of course the hologram was kind of new at that time. That was a, a kind of a big deal. It really gave these like a premium feel over like the card stock of tops where it's like this pulp cardboard really and this was actually like kind of business card stock and glossy so that really like added to the to the feel what are these stickers oh cool yeah some hologram stickers kind of a's and the cubs and just kind of fills in definitely kind of a different take than the um than the bubble gum and the gum was always a problem or it is nowadays anyway because it's like rotten in there tom browning greg booker i have to look and see i'm not seeing any names that i recognize tracy jones ron kittle and ken williams and not ken griffey jr ten higaroa and bobby meacham there we go so who knows maybe this was a resealed pack it's not that big of a deal I don't even know what a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card would go for nowadays. I don't think it's really a whole lot unless it's graded and maybe there is some demand for it, but I didn't get that lucky. So there we go. Let's just open a couple more. Um, Donruss, 1992, just baseball. Yeah, Donruss. So then again, like after Upper Deck started coming out, they kind of, I think they kind of upped their game on the card stock on some of these. So oh, yeah, I remember this, this design here. Dave Cohn, Tommy Green, Chili Davis, I remember that name too. Tazil, Diaz, Bud Black, John Olrud. I like this player actually. Like I was collecting him early on as a uh, as a rookie. Um, he had solid stats. I remember that, and I think I looked him up recently. And he's kind of a guy that always got overlooked. For um, for his career, which was pretty decent, and I don't, he's probably not going to make the haul or anything like that, but I always thought he was cool. Kent Merker, and more puzzles. I don't, I, none of my friends ever tried to put these puzzles together. It's just like extra. So this one I did notice is a '93 upper deck. It feels like there's a solid thing in the back that's different size of the cards, and I want to say. That I remember that this series had some kind of hologram or the stained glass. I actually did pull a Derek Jeter out of one of these, which was kind of a big deal at that point. And I want to, I'm just wondering if maybe I'm getting lucky or if there's just some weirdness going on with the cards in there. So let's try it and see. And. I think I'm just wrong. I think they're just like stuck together in the back there. This last card is just like stuck. So it felt like it was poking out like it was something extra. You got a Tim Salmon rookie card. That's actually got to be pretty decent, honestly. There you go. I'm going to pull that one aside and kind of look and uh, and look it up. And another Tim Salmon. I got a duplicate Tim Salmon. All right, that's interesting. All right, Melvin Nieves. You know what's funny? Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'm going to level with you guys. I thought that Tim Salmon was, was good. I was thinking of Mike Trout. Hey, it's a fish name. I don't know what. I've been out of the baseball 
game for quite some time. I'm still going to look up Tim Salmon, but he's definitely no Mike Trout, right? Okay. Go ahead. Get it out of your system. Laugh it, laugh it up down below. Tony Gwynn. I'm happy to have that. That's pretty cool. Um, and I think he is no longer with us as well. Uh, just like Kirby Puckett. Roberto Olimar. Hey, there we go. So there's a, there's a good name. Big big uh, baseball name right there. Trevor Wilson. I guess I need a little pile here. Billy Ripken. Brother of Cal Ripken. Cool action shots there. So that that's definitely one of the things I did like about baseball cards is you would get like some really good photos of them in action. I always like those better than them just standing there with their bat, but Chili Davis. Well, okay, that's pretty cool of him standing there with his bat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there we go. Phil Plant Ner. That's oh, like stuck. Plantier. Okay. Hard to, hard to deal with here. Ray Langford. I remember that name too. Ray Greg Harris. Henry Rodriguez. Oh my gosh. It is stuck in there, like, well, they've been there for 30 years or so. Henry Rodriguez, Bill Spears, and Ryan Thompson. That does it here. So I got a couple of stars. I got a good rookie there. I'm going to check out these other rookies and see how they are. Um, anyway, thanks for sticking around, big baseball fans there. And uh, stay tuned. I actually got more packs of these. Uh, they'll be down the, the line here a bit if you're interested. Catch you later.